Again, son of good family, as for what is meant by repenting of karmic obstacles, the Bodhisattva thinks to himself, Throughout the beginningless kalpas of the past, due to greed, hatred, and delusion manifesting in body, speech, and mind, I have committed measurelessly and boundlessly many bad karmic actions. If these bad karmic actions had substance and signs, even all the realms of space would be unable to contain them. Now, with purity in the three types of karmic actions, directly before all Buddhas and Bodhisattva, congregations everywhere, in all chestras, as numerous as the atoms in the entire Dharma realm, I sincerely repent of these bad karmic actions, resolving to never commit them again, and resolving to always abide in all the meritorious qualities of the pure moral precepts. I continue in this way until the realms of space come to an end, until the realms of beings come to an end, until beings' karmic actions come to an end, and until beings' afflictions come to an end. Only then will my repentance come to an end. However, because the realms of space and so forth, up to including beings' afflictions, can never end. This repentance of mine is endless. It continues on in each successive mind moment, uninterrupted and free of any weariness in the actions of body, speech, or mind. Again, son of good family, as for what is meant by rejoicing in others' merit, this refers to the merit created by all Buddhas, the Tathagatas, throughout the Dharma realm and the realms of space, who are as numerous as the atoms in all Buddha chestras in the ten directions and three periods of time. From the time when they first aroused their resolve to attain all knowledge, they diligently cultivated a mass of merit, never stinting and sacrificing their own bodies and lives, doing so for kalpas as numerous as the atoms in an ineffable, ineffable number of Buddha chestras. During every one of those kalpas, they sacrificed heads, eyes, hands, and feet, as numerous as the atoms in an ineffable, ineffable number of Buddha chestras, as they practiced all the difficult-to-practice austerities such as these, perfected the many different kinds of paramita gateways, realized and entered the many different kinds of bodhisattva wisdom crowns, perfected the unexcelled bodhi of all Buddhas, and then reached parinirvana, after which their sarira relics were distributed. I rejoice in all their roots of goodness, and rejoice as well in all the merit produced by all the different kinds of beings of the six rebirth destinies and the four types of birth in all worlds of the ten directions, doing so even where their merit is only as small as a moat of dust. I rejoice in all the merit produced by all Shravaka disciples and Pratyeka Buddhas throughout the ten directions and three periods of time, whether still at the stage of training or beyond further training. And I rejoice in all the vast merit of the measureless difficult-to-practice austerities cultivated by all bodhisattvas in their resolute quest to reach the utmost right and perfect bodhi. I continue to rejoice in this way until the realms of space come to an end, until the realms of beings come to an end, until beings' karmic actions come to an end, and until beings' afflictions come to an end. This rejoicing of mine is endless. It continues on in each successive mind moment, uninterrupted and free of any weariness in the actions of body, speech, or mind. Thank you.